Welcome to day 25 of our 40 days of prayer. Today our scripture will be coming to us from Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32. And it reads, Be kind and tender-hearted to one another, and forgive one another as God has forgiven you through Christ. It is here that the Apostle Paul is urging us to forgive one another as God has forgiven us through Christ. Many of us have a hard time even understanding what forgiveness is. Forgiveness is simply a release or a dismissal of something. The forgiveness we have in Christ involves the release of sinners from God's just penalty and the complete dismissal of all charges against us. Isn't it good and doesn't it make you feel good to know that we have a God who is just and who is willing to forgive us? You know, to some people, forgiveness may seem like a weakness or letting an undeserving person win. But I'm here to tell you today that forgiveness has no connection to weakness or even to our emotions. Instead, forgiveness is an act of the will. Forgiveness is not granted because a person deserves to be forgiven. Forgiveness is, is a deliberate act of love, mercy, and grace. Forgiveness is a decision to not hold on to something against another person despite what he or she may have done toward you. Let us remember today that we should forgive others as our God forgave us. Remember that the most, one of the last things that Christ did for us over 2,000 years ago on the cross, he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. So I want to leave you with this today, that we should forgive others because it was Jesus Christ himself who died for our forgiveness. Let us go to God in prayer. Father God, we just thank you, O oh God, for today. Father, we ask right now that you just forgive us for all of our sins. Father, we pray right now for those who may think that they don't have the ability to forgive, Father God. Father, I ask right now that you just stretch our capacity, O oh God, that you shape and you mold our, our capacity to forgive, Father. Father, I pray today that, we, that you allow us to be able to extend the same grace and mercy to others as you have extended to us, Father. Father, continue to bless us. Forget, continue to keep us, O oh God. Father, continue to guard our hearts, O oh God, as we put all our trust in you, Father. So, Father God, right now, I ask once again that you just stretch our capacity that we may be able to forgive others as you have done to us. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We give you all the glory and all the honor. But it's your wonderful matchless name that we do pray. Amen.